Hello friends, this is Anand Pai, founder of Academy in Pursuit of Engineering Excellence. Today, we will talk about CII IPET exam. This is one of the best opportunities an engineer has got for the first time starting from this July. Okay, so now what is CII? CII stands for Confederation of Indian Industries. And what is IPET? IPET stands for Industrial Proficiency Aptitude Test for Engineers. Now, CII is the organization which has members across almost every big industries in India. So now, why they have come with IPET exam? The reason why they have come with IPET exam is they are seeing the engineering graduates who are coming for employment do not have the quality they have to have. Okay, so the employability of engineers is coming down. So this CII has come up with this exam, not just that, along with the exam, they give you a lot of support in terms of mock tests and all those things. Okay, mock tests as well as uh, they uh, say which books do you have to refer and all those things. There are a lot of support from CII for this. Now, after you clear this IPET exam, what will happen is the toppers, the, uh, the high rankers in this exam will get a call from big industries or you have to, if you apply you uh, you get a chance of getting selected into the big companies okay so we will see much more about this exam now let us see what is cii see cii if we go to wikipedia and see cii it says it's an industry association in india cii is a non government not for profit industry led Industry Managed Organization founded in 1895 has 9,000 members from private as well as public sector including SME small scale small medium enterprises and MNCs multinational companies and an indirect membership of around 30, 3 lakh enterprises from around 265 national and regional sectorial industrial bodies. Now what does this mean? This means that almost every Indian industries, private as well as public, are part of CII. Now, what does CII do? Is CII gives recommendations to the government. It tries to uh, help government in policy making. Lot of such kind of activities it does. It it is just like a mouthpiece of the industry. It tells the government about what is needed for industry. Such kind of things. Such kind of activities are done by CII. Now, if we see who is managing CII, the president is Vikram Kirloskar, the president designate Uday Kotak, V. P. V. Narendran is vice president, and Chandrajit Banerjee is the director general. So you see that uh, if you see here, uh, Vikram Kirloskar is uh, chairman and MD of Kirloskar Systems. Our uh, Uday Kotak is managing director of Kotak Mahindra Bank. Narendran is CEO and Managing Director of Tata Steel Limited. So the top companies of India, top private companies of India are part of this uh, confederation. So this gives us a hope or this gives us a uh, assurance that this is from the best of the organization. So this organization has come up with IPAID exam. So this is the website of IPAID. It says IPED stands for Industrial Proficiency Aptitude Test for Engineers. A gateway to corporate world. Why did they say gate? The reason why they said gate is this is equivalent to gate. If gate is the way to go for public, private, uh, public sector uh, companies as well as post-graduation in IITs or IASC or even PhD in uh, or, or what they call as uh, uh, FPM programs in IAMs, this IPAID is to get a job, directly a job, okay, into the best of the industries. Now, who these people are targeting? These people are not targeting the IIT and NIT students. These are targeting the private engineering college students because IIT and NIT students are good, very good, and they get selected. And generally, the industry is happy with those uh, people, okay. But when it comes to the private engineering colleges, they see that in every private engineering college, there might be 2 to 3% of the students who are really, really good. 
but 97% of the people are not that great. So it becomes really difficult for them to go to every campus and select those people. So this is like a way to come out of campus selection and try to see the st uh, student strength all over India. So this is the main uh, intention behind doing this IPAT exam. Now let us see what does it say. Okay, so uh, it's a, here there is a PPT which shows you all the things why they have come up with. Please go through this PPT and see what are the things. See here it says that industry needs a catchment of high quality employable engineering graduates having industrial aptitude and proficiency to recruit. That is very important. People don't have industrial proficiency. As well as I will say, uh, most of the private engineering college students will not have the basics of engineering also, will not know the basics of engineering. I have taught in engineering college for more than 15 years and I know sometimes students don't know how to have a proper units. They don't know how to convert some of the units also from one unit to the other unit. So the basic knowledge what is required is very very less not in just in this lot of uh, things the basics are not known and this is a source of frustration for the industry. Okay, They select them sometimes based on the marks or such kind of things but later on they are frustrated Okay, because of the low quality of students from engineering colleges. So they have come up with this. This what does it do is because of this exam they will know what a student is and also because because of this uh, exam if students are motivated to learn that is a very good thing. It will that is it's a win-win situation for the student as well as the industry. So now let us see. Now what does it say? Online competitive exam to screen technical talent on pan India basis for CII member companies to recruit. That is the main thing. Recruitment is the main intention behind this exam. Okay. Now it says that India's premier and one of the largest business association with this is what we have seen. Now what is it? For standardizing technical recruitment process and protocol for Indian industries. So to build a one-stop solution for Indian industry to recruit technical talent across India, that is important. So you can get into uh, some of the best companies, even North India, if a person from South India is there, he can get into North Indian companies or a North India student can get into South Indian companies based only on his talent. Okay. So that is one of the best things what has happened. Okay. Now, what is the process? The process of online registration, enroll for the exam. Then they give mock tests. Okay, they give get free access to initial assessments, derive your strength, weakness, different subject, analyze attempts and all those things. So you get to prepare. So they only prepare you for this exam. Okay. Also, they give you, uh, what do you say, free self and group learning opportunities along with the recommended reference book, technical video, discussion for forums, mock tests, all those things. So what happens? They are training you also. Okay. Now, how is it? You get on, it's an online exam. It is not an offline, it's an online exam. There are centers all just like gate. Okay. There will be centers all over India and you have to go there and you have to attend that exam. And afterwards, they will have an online job board, job board for employment. Qualified candidates will get access to IPAID job board where all suitable opportunities from corporate will be available. Candidates can apply to appear for GD personal interview rounds directly. So this is one of the advantages. So the student from a private engineering college don't, can need not complain that uh, his uh, placement office is not good and his placement officer is not good. Such kind of complaints need not come. Okay, Because the CII itself is ensuring that you get into the best industry provided you have the required talent. So develop your talent now. Okay. So let us see much more on that. What is the eligibility? B.Tech. B.E. or B.Tech, four years course after 10 plus 2. This exam is generally in July and by then people will be completing their B.Tech and after completion of B.Tech, this, uh, this exam can be written. What is the way? It is a computer based exam. Okay. And uh, what are the uh, exam centers in capital cities across various states 
and union territories of india so uh, people should go to their capital cities bangalore in karnataka we are from karnataka so in karnataka you have to go to bangalore or such kind of places but it's good okay so now what is the exam fees exam fees are on 1500 rupees okay inclusive of all the taxes and it is non refundable okay what is the exam structure we will see now if you see exam structure duration is 3 hours total 100 questions with 1000 with 100 marks and negative marking this is the main thing you have to be very careful in uh, trying for the uh, questions which you do not know properly there is half mark negative negative half mark and question part uh, question pattern multiple choice or numerical type it is just like your gate only difference is half mark is removed for wrong question okay wrong answer okay if you mark a question wrongly your half mark is gone now what is the what are the different sections in this there is 20 marks for cognitive abilities like quantitative aptitude analytical reasoning data interpretation english communication this generally colleges provide in terms of soft skills uh, in in the colleges only third year or fourth year the uh, colleges uh, recruit some or get some external agencies to train you on these things okay that would be helpful this is one thing which your college doesn't provide maybe after this they will start providing they will start providing project management health and safety risk management environmental laws social responsibility and ethics finance and accounts legal contracts and arbitration this is very important for any industry so that is why industry want you to have this knowledge with you that will come for 20 marks next 10 marks is physics and chemistry 10 plus 2 level so this i think when you are prepared for je or your state level exam state level exam for uh, engineering you would have uh, you would have uh, gone through this only thing is that you have to refresh those things okay then 50 marks question is for engineering discipline with respective subjects like computer science student will write computer science exam mechanical engineering student will write mechanical engineering exam civil engineering student will write civil engineering exam so like this it is for that particular discipline this is almost equivalent to gate okay so the subject here what is not there is engineering mathematics you will have subject wise uh, uh, tests okay so uh, your engineering subjects only will be asked no maths this is one of the advantages you can say the people who say that that's a maths i cannot understand for such kind of people this is there okay especially the diploma students can uh, try for this okay now section one is to access management skill section two is to access basic professional skill section three is to access engineering skills and acumen now section one is this section two is professional abilities section three has two parts that is technical abilities this comes for 60 marks so 40 marks for management skills uh, so 20, uh, 20 marks for management skills 20 marks for pro basic professional skills and section three to access engineering skills so this is how the things for gate uh, for ipad exam is and it is one of the best um, what do you say um, one of the best initiatives taken by Confed configuration of Indian industry and it will help the student as well as industry a lot. Now let us see what are the, what is the timeline. Timeline, now you have to start, uh, your online registration will start from January 1. It's already started. So you it will help from February 1. It uh, uh, gives you online preparation, strength, weakness analysis, learning and upskilling facilities for enrolled candidates. Okay. Online admit card will be coming from somewhere in July 15th and exam, IP8 exam will be July 4, 5, 11, 12 of 2020. Similarly, each year it will be there. Okay. And then online certification for IP8 will come around August 1st. And then August 2020 onwards, you can start applying for jobs. So this is one of the best uh, thing that can happen to a engineering student. So best of luck. And uh, we wish you that you clear this exam and get the best of the industries and live your life. Best of luck. Thank you very much.